Hi, I'm Tom Scarpello of Revology Cars, and this is car number 156, a 1966 Shelby GT350 convertible in rapid red with raven black Le Mans stripes and red flamencorat Napa leather interior. And behind me, making a special cameo appearance in this video, is car number 80, a 1967 Shelby GT350, also in rapid red with raven black Le Mans stripes. Today I'm going to take you on a walk around of car 156 and we're going to go for a drive. Let's get started. Okay, so 1966 Shelby GT350 convertible, one of 12 to ever be produced by Revology Cars. Rapid red, you'll notice, same color as car 80. Both cars were owned by the same client. This is a guy who knows what he likes and he sticks with it. A little bit different execution with the two. Car 80 has a black interior. Car 156 has the, uh, the red Napa leather interior. I mean, they both look awesome. Rapid Red is a modern Ford color. It's a three stage. It's really deep and um, rich color, very vibrant. Not like anything that you would have found in the 60s, but it looks great on, uh, on the early Mustang. This car is equipped with the torque thrust wheels with the black painted centers, which really complement the black Le Mans stripe and the black side stripes. So like all 66 Shelby's, you've got the grill with the um, no fog lights and the, uh, the pony insignia, fiberglass hood with the scoop. You've got your side scoops at the rear of the car, the uh, GT350 badge, GT350 fuel cap, and of course the uh, exhaust, the dual exhaust with the turned down tips. So this uh, flamenco rot leather is um, a Porsche leather. It's a Porsche factory color. Uh, we've used it on several Revology vehicles. Obviously as an OEM leather, it's very durable. It resists sun loading and abrasion. Uh, this is what you want in an automobile that you actually plan to use and drive. This car is equipped with the six dial cluster and the aluminum trim. And um, this is a manual transmission, six speed, the Tremec T56 XL. Here we go, car 156. So, and I could sit here and tell you all these things and what makes us different from every other company out there that's doing similar things with classic cars. But I think the most compelling thing that I can do is share significant owner loyalty that we have. The number of repeat customers that we have is now 24. 24 people who own multiple Revology cars and not just two. You know, we've got several clients that own four or five and one even owns seven. So what makes these clients keep coming back? The cars we build have a really compelling combination of attributes. So they not only look great, but they're also fun to drive and they're reliable. And that's the key. You know, this, the whole reason that I started this company was that there's an unmet need in this segment. There's a lot of passion for cars from this era, obviously, but not really any good alternatives to own one. You know, you could buy an original unrestored car if you can find one. And if you do, well, gosh, you don't want to drive it because the value of that car is, it's in its originality. And besides, they're crap to drive. So that's not a good option. Well, why not restore one? Okay, well, you know, a restoration is this open checkbook process. You know, I mean, no restoration shop can, you know, really predict exactly the cost of the restoration. They give you an estimate, but the cost depends a lot on the condition of the car that you're restoring. And so, you know, until you get into it, you know, you don't really know. Typically these things get billed on a time and materials basis and you're just paying, you know, every week. You don't know how long it's going to take. You know, they're going to 
do it basically as they're able to do it and it's a slow process because you get into it and you find this and oh i found some rusty panels and we got to order the parts and the parts come in you got to put the parts in and you, you know whatever it just goes on and on and on the last thing is I mean, you really don't know what you're going to get when it's all done i mean if you're getting a car restored back to the original spec okay then you, know, you can have a pretty good idea of how it's going to drive and perform it's, if that's what you want that's great but you know most people don't want that you know we've, we've become accustomed to you know cars that are you know responsive and they have good brakes and steering and uh you know co comfort and convenience features and they're reliable so really not many people want to drive around in a car with 60s technology so then you might think well i'll just buy one that's already complete and you know that's what's over the past i'd say you know maybe particularly 10 to 20 years really driven the popularity of uh auctions like Barrett Jackson and Meekum you know and you know the whole atmosphere is like Las Vegas atmosphere and it's really like Las Vegas you know in the sense that uh, you know the house always wins you know you're you're at a real disadvantage as a buyer you know you get to see the cars you don't get to drive the cars and you know the cars don't come with any warranty and you know what's happened is this whole industry of flippers and you know these are people that buy a you know kind of not too terrible classic car and then strip it put a you know coat of fresh paint on it sort of you know spruce it up and then run it through the auction we have a client who bought a uh, 55 chevy through one of the auctions i think he paid three hundred and twenty-five thousand for it something like that you know the car i'm sure i haven't seen it i'm sure it looked beautiful um, you know, he's a pretty astute person. He's owned a lot of cars in his lifetime. And, um, you know, he bought this car. And he, then he told me it cost him another $60,000 to actually get it to where he could drive it. So, you know, th those are all the, I think, short shortcomings. And so, you know what, when we started this company, I mean, we set out to address that and you know the, the a couple keys number one is focus on one thing and we designed this platform we call it our m58 platform m for mustang five for 65 eight for 68 it underpins our 65 to 68 um, mustang and shelby gts and every car that we've built since the very beginning of the company's built on the M58 platform. Now we've refined and developed the platform. You know, continuous improvement is one of our core philosophies. It's like nothing is ever as good as it can be or nothing is ever good enough. It just, you can always get better. So focus, continuous improvement, building a car that not only looks great, but is also fun to drive. You know, that's what's unique about Revology and that's why our customers keep coming back. That to us is the most important metric. Are your customers happy? Are they coming back? And if they are, that's the formula for long-term success.